Well, hello everyone. It's me, Daniel with Website Candy, and today we have a Photoshop tutorial in reference to helping you understand how easy it is to work with font styles once you get a layout kind of mocked up for your client. Well, here I have a, you know, a little mock-up that I'm doing for a t-shirt for a client here, and, you know, the layout and everything is really basic, really simple, really easy. Uh, it's all in reference to the font style. A lot of times when you see a person with a t-shirt, it's a matter of the font style that kind of draws you in to take a look at it. So I like to give my clients options, and what we have so far here is we have a folder here called a little mixed up is what we're looking at right now. So if I turn that photo off right there and then I kick on this photo right here, a love of thunder, uh, you will see the different font styles right here. So let me go ahead and kick this one back on right here real fast. And over here, I have my font book, which is already pre-installed on your Mac. Uh, just type in font in your uh, spotlight there. Just go into spotlight, hit the um, type font and you're going to get right here you know all your different fonts I would definitely recommend hitting the plus button right here creating a folder her name is nurse Nicole and um, so I named it nurse right here and as you can see here's the different fonts that she sent me now where did she get these fonts from I sent her over here to defont.com one thing I love about defont.com is everything is royalty free um, you don't necessarily have to pay for anything. 99% of it is 100% free. And as you can see, the different categories you can go search in versus kind of going all the way through defont.com there. So here's how you use defont.com. So here's this font style right here. I can go up in here and I can type my name. WebsiteCandy.com, for instance, and I can just hit submit there, and you can see the way WebsiteCandy.com is going to lay out right there in that font style. So even if I take that off right there, and if I do website, and then let's do like this, Candy, INC, and we hit enter there, you can see what it's going to look like in reference to that right there. So you can do any font style like that. Uh, if your client, you know, once they preview it, it looks pretty good. Uh, and they like that font style, they can just come over here, hit delete, and they can email you this document right here. And like I mentioned right here, here are the different ones that Nicole has uh, sent me right here. So what I'm going to do, we're going to kind of do this third one together. I've already done the first two. Let's go ahead and go into the third one here and see how that looks right here. So what I've done here from the original is I've made sure that I took all of my font styles for all the different fonts that I'm using here and I put them all in one folder and if you don't necessarily know how to do that what you can do is you can select all your fonts right here and hit command G and it's automatically going to put everything into a folder I'm not going to do it because I've already done so and I don't want to duplicate that folder inside of another folder so let's go ahead and kick this one off kick this one back on and then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hit just hit command J and I'm gonna duplicate that folder so I'm going to turn this one off right here, and now we have our font styles once again as the same little mock-up we did there. So I'm going to come down here and select all of my different font styles that I'm already using, and I'm going to go back over here, and it says, A Year Without Rain is the font style that she chose there. I'm going to hit my T key over here and type that in, A Year Without Rain, and as you can see, it pops up right there. And as I hit that there, you can see everything has changed in reference to that font style. So now what I want to do is I just want to kind of hit my uh, V key or select your move tool here. And I just want to just take individually um, the different font styles. I probably should put these in order. Uh, let me see here. Welcome to uh, nursing school right over here. And let me move that, and actually I want to resize that a little bit by hitting Command T and kind of bringing that size up a little bit there and hitting Enter. And the correct right over here, I'm going to put it in the center. And one thing that you notice is that Photoshop, um, by default, if you didn't change any of your settings, they have the little purple guides there that will kind of help you uh, line this thing up versus having to use your align tools all the time. So this font style right here, I want to bring it up. And I want to resize it, kind of bring it over here. And I'm looking for that guy right in the center to kind of show itself. And when I get that guy in the center right there, I can let go, hit Command Enter to commit that there. And here's what the font style looks like. So now that I have my font styles all set up and I have them in the different types of um, 
you know, formats that, you know, she was requiring and asking. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to name this layer right here, uh, year without rain. So let's go over here and name this layer, double click inside there, a year A year without rain is the name of that folder there. So when I click that right there, you can see that I have that folder, year without rain, font style, uh, love of thunder, font style, and then I have a little mixed up font style right there. So, you know, this is a really easy way. Now, I'm not going to show you in this video right here um, because I have made a video kind of showing you, and I'll put that link below. But over here, if you save your mock-up right here in Photoshop. You're saving the Photoshop file. And if you save it inside Creative Cloud, there is a way for you to send this PSD with all these different layer styles and all these folders. So actually, let me go over here and group this stuff right here. Command G. But she will be able to see all these different folders. Here. Now I can also, another great thing that you can do is you can click them all and you can say, you know, I want these to be green. So when I send her an email through Adobe, when I send her the PSD through Adobe, I'm going to send her a message and say, hey, turn on and off the little eyeballs in the green section and look at those different folders to see the, the font styles. I'm going to really make it really easy and simple for her to understand exactly how to click off that eyeball, click on this eyeball and see the different mock-ups so she can make the choice that she wants. So I can actually resize this whole entire thing, um, put it in the format that she needs it in in reference to print on a t-shirt and everybody's happy. So, you know, if this is all new to you, uh, definitely leave a comment below. Just let me know that you learned something. This is something that, uh, you didn't necessarily know anything. I mean, just leave me some type of feedback. Um, and if you can't comment below for any reason, uh, just send me over a tweet at Website Candy just to let me know um, that you learned something. All right. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye now.